What's up, you guys? This is Mary with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers. Welcome, 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 welcome. <laughs> welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. Sorry, it's big bugs in your face. There we go. This is for sign of Gemini for um, November 7th of 2022 to November 14th of 2022. This is for today if you have Gemini, any aspects of your charts. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Moon, Hammer, Jupiter, Charge. Stop the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Free general collective reading. Love you guys so much. Um, thanks for all the new subscribers. Thanks for all the shares of my content on social media and word of mouth. It's really helping my channel grow. I appreciate all the love and support. Okay, so I received a channel message for um, the sign of Gemini for... November of 2022. Um, the channel message I received was um, the real truth is about to come out. I heard one, you're going to help it come out, but one, you're going to be forced to tell it. So you plug in how it resonates. The real truth is about to come out. For one, you're going to help the real truth come out. So you have to plug yourself in where you resonate. Are you helping the, helping the real truth come out or are you going to be forced to tell it? You have to plug yourself in where you fit. However, that resonates and applies. But the real truth is about to come out. I think, for one, you're going to be help the real truth come out. Now, whatever the real truth is and how that resonates and applies for you, Gemini, one, you're going to be forced to tell it. So whatever the real truth is, being forced to tell, you plug it in how it resonates. Unicorn. Spirit message is here, Professor. For some, you can be just strongly uh, dealing with the Earth sign. If you are, they got Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, and Ben Haver, Jupiter charts. You got double Earth sign energy. So for some, I strongly feel you're dealing with two or two plus, excuse me, Earth signs. You plug it in how it resonates. Spare messages you have for a sign of Gemini. Spirit messages you have for a sign, Gemini. Our workplace affair is about to become very significant. For one, you're about to help expose this workplace affair. For one, you're about to find out your partner's in a workplace affair. Oh, Lord. A workplace affair is about to become very significant. For one, you're about to help expose a workplace affair. So I feel it's in your workplace. If that resonates and applies for you, Gemini, um, you're going to help expose the workplace affair. I'm presuming it's a no fraternization situation where you're not allowed to have workplace affairs is what I'm presuming. Um, you plug in how it resonates, but in that aspect, it's not you. You're in a work 3D workplace dynamic, but it's not you in a workplace affair, somebody else, and you're about to help expose it. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. And for one, you're about to find out your partner's in a workplace affair. So you plug it in how it resonates. So I'm assuming in their workplace and you don't work with them is what I'm presuming. So you plug it in how it resonates. Oh, my. Camel, pay attention. I'm sorry, Cain, pay attention to your health, wheel, and decisiveness, allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. Wishbone, a wish is granted. Experience to just share for a sign, Gemini.
movement. Unicorn, camel. Pay attention to your health. Indecisiveness, allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. A wish is granted. Movement. Unicorn. A very gifted light side reader, younger reader, fem energy, Gemini, startup, startup business, reading business. It has been very, 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 very slow to come, but through many series of chain events, it's about to really pick up. You have true abilities from the spiritual realm. People are about to realize this, and you're about to get a lot of business. Curly hair is significant in this. Okay, so you plug in how it resonates. So if this resonates for you, you're a younger Gemini fam. You got Gemini, any aspects of your chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Wolf, Dome, and Hammer, Jupiter charts. But you have curly hair, I'm presuming. Or maybe a client's going to have curly hair. However, that resonates and applies. But curly hair is significant whether you have curly hair or your, one of your clients ends up having curly hair, how that resonates and applies. But um, you are younger, so I'm feeling 35, 34 below, have Gemini, any aspects of your charts. But you're a very light side reader. You have true spiritual gifts. And you, uh, I heard startup, slow startup business. So you have a tarot reading business, but it's been slow to start up. Sounds like you started it up, but it's been slow to come. But um, it sounds like it's about to start picking up soon um, because people already realize you have true spiritual gifts or they're about to realize it, um, whoever you are, ma'am. Um, a wish is granted with your business about to start picking up. Um, you have true spiritual gifts. So I don't know if it's clear audience, clairvoyance, psychic medium abilities, dreamscape, or a combination of two or two plus. Um, how about that resonates and applies? So your a wish is granted for you, ma'am. And you're about to get movement in your business. I think it's going to make you very happy. If that resonates for you. Congratulations to whoever that's for. Brown hair is significant too. Brown hair is significant too. So brown hair and curly hair is significant. Maybe you have brown hair, brown curly hair. Or somebody, one of your upcoming clients is going to have brown curly hair. Or brown hair or curly hair. How that resonates and applies man. But in this aspect, you are the unicorn. You're very magical. You have supernatural, um, you have su supernatural gifts, and you're about to share them with your clientele, whoever you are, and how that resonates. It's about to show forward movement in your business. A political game in the past that used kids as pawns is about to seriously backfire. One, you're about to help it backfire. One, you were heavily involved with it. and You're about to get very neg negative karma. Fire sign, earth sign, child. Okay. Ooh, man. So you plug in how it resonates. So I heard a very political game that used kids as pawns, and I heard a fire sign, an earth sign child. So this is your earth sign child, and then there's a fire sign child in there as well. So Taurus Capricorn Virgo child, I'm feeling 17 or below, and an Aries Leo Sag child, I'm feeling 17 or below. Um, they use kids as pawns, some kind of dirty political game. I heard it's uh, about to seriously backfire. It's already backfired. It's already backfired, and soon, soon it's about to really backfire in huge, unexpected ways. Soon it's about to hugely backfire in um, very unexpected ways.
Politicians' careers are about to tank. Lawyers' careers are about to tank. Nurses' careers are about to tank. Teachers' careers are about to tank. Officers of the law, dirty cops, careers are about to tank. And dirty judges' careers are about to tank. Oh, my God. Whoa, there's a lot of people in there. So, okay, so the well, the, you shouldn't play dirty politician games. And that's just the truth. No dirty politics. Nay, nay. Um, but somebody has. One of you guys has. And you're about to receive negative karma for it. So, whether you're a... I feel you could be a dirty politician, dirty teacher, dirty cop, uh, a dirty nurse, um, dirty lawyer. I mean, we have a lot of professional occupations in here. However, that resonates and applies. There's a lot of professional dirty occupations up in here, but their careers are about to tank. Or you could be somebody connected into the dirty politician games that use a fire sign child and an earth sign child as pawns, basically. Um, but for one, you're about to help expose it. So for one, you're very light side. You treat people honestly, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrity, and values. And you're about to expose the dirty polit uh, politics games using kids as pawns, basically. And you're about to expose it. Um, however that resonates and applies. So you're light side, if that resonates for you. One, you help use kids as pawns. And I feel you can be a dirty cop. A dirty uh, police officer, a dirty judge, a dirty lawyer, dirty teacher, um, dirty nurse, etc., 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 and your career is about to tank. Um, or you could have collaborated with these people if you're not these dirty professional careers, and you're about to get negative karma for it. However, that resonates and applies. You should never use kids as pawns if anybody needs to hear that. About to create movement in this situation. Things are about to speed up in a huge way. Things are about to speed up in a huge way. And a nurse is about to get unexpectedly fired. A dirty nurse. It's about to shock the hell out of them. Oh my God. And a dirty nurse is about to get fired. It's about to shock the hell out of them. One, you are jail staff. Dirty jail staff. Career is about to tank. Okay, one, you're a dirty jail staff. So we got dirty police officers and dirty jail staff. I mean, there was like eight or nine occupations over here. So one, you're dirty jail staff. So you are jail, you work in the jail in some shape, form, or fashion in a jail. You work in a jail in some shape, form, or fashion. A manager in a jail. You're a manager in a jail. You're a manager in a jail, and your career is about to tank in a huge way. Um, Gemini masculine. You're a Gemini masculine. You're a Gemini masculine. You work in a jail, and your career is about to tank, so you're dirty jail staff. So you're over here with all these dirty people. Um, I feel you help use these kids as pawns is what I feel, sir. Oh, I can't even call you sir. I have no respect for you, and that's just the truth. But um, there's about to be serious movement in this situation. Um, the wheel is about to start moving. Uh, but for one of you light side Gemini's, you're about to help expose this shit. So you are going to get positive karma in this. Very positive karma. About to help the wheel move in a huge way. Okay. Very positive karma. You're about to help the wheel move in a huge way. So you are very light side being. You're about to help expose this shit. And you're about to get very positive karma. And you're about to help the wheel move in a very positive way. Sir, ma'am. You, I feel you can be masculine or femme and have Gemini in any aspects of your charts. If that resonates and applies for you, positive light side Gemini. That's about to help expose it. One, you work in a restaurant. One, you work in a news news center. Media. One, you work in a... Okay, so it's positive light side. When we went over all the dirty ones. And there's a dirty nurse about to get unexpectedly terminated. I'll tell you that. But there's a lot of dirty occupations, professional occupations. Careers about to tank. About to get negative karma. But we got the positive, y'all positive up here. I heard news, media, conglomerate, newscasting, and some some, some shape, form, or fashion. And we have um, restaurant worker. So you can be masculine or feminine newscaster or masculine or, fem, masculine or fem, um restaurant worker. And you're about to help expose. And a reader. And a reader. And you're a reader. One, you're a reader. So one, you're a light side reader, one, you're a restaurant worker, 
when you are a newscaster or work in new a news station in some shape form or fashion media news media conglomerate i feel you can be masculine or feminine in any of these situations if you resonate in the light side categories over here um, and you're about to help expose it however that resonates and applies the light side gemini's this is this is huge this is huge so whether you're a light side restaurant worker light side me news media conglomerate work in a news station or news media conglomerate or um what was the other one um a reader terror reader you plug it in how it resonates wow camel one you work at a gas station light side Okay, this for you. And one, you work at a gas station and you're light side. So one, you're a Gemini, you work at a gas station and you're going to help expose it. Um, you're light side, mask or fem Gemini. Yeah, Gemini, any aspects of your charge and you're about to help expose it. So only you know your situation story, not anybody else, sir, ma'am. These are the light side categories over here. You work at a gas station, some kind of news media conglomerate, uh, news station is type energy, restaurant worker, or... Uh, what was the other one? Uh, terror reader. Camel. There's about to be a very significant death of a Taurus Capricorn Virgo. Karmic father soon. One, it's your father. One, it is an ex-wife's father. This is about to be game changers for you or your you or your ex-wife. Oh my lord! So you plug in how it resonates. Okay, so. In this aspect, the camel energy, I feel, is the karmic father, whether it's your karmic father or your ex-wife's karmic father. I heard it's a Taurus Capricorn Virgo karmic father. Now, karmics are anybody that doesn't mean well for um, a person, people, place, or situation. In this aspect, their daughter or you, whether you're a man or a woman. So, for one of you guys, the Taurus Capricorn Virgo upcoming death of this father is your father. Um, they're Taurus Capricorn Virgo, still living, but they're about to pass away. But they were a karmic to you, so they did, they did not mean well for you in life. They did not do good by you, do right by you, basically, for one of you guys. For one, it's your ex-wife's karmic father. So, one, you have an ex-wife, at least, and their father is about to pass away. Taurus Capricorn Virgo, karmic father, but they did not... Do right by her, mean well by her, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I heard whether it's your father about to pass away, your karmic father about to pass away, or your ex-wife's karmic father about to pass away, it is about to bring huge game-changing aspects to the situation. But they're a karmic father, so they didn't do well by you, masculine or feminine energy with the karmic or son father, or by your ex-wife. But once they pass away, it's about to bring some life-changing game-changing events they haven't passed away yet but it sounds like it's coming up in the universe with the movement energy um you plug it in how it resonates for some it could be i hate to say it but it might be a wish is granted because um they didn't do right by you if it is your father that's about to pass away or your ex-wife's father i mean i'm just being for real This is about to be a huge blessing in disguise for your ex-wife and for you. This is about to be a huge blessing in disguise for you if it's your karmic father about to pass away or your ex-wife if it's your ex-wife's karmic father about to pass away. Blessing in disguise. A hidden inheritance is about to come to light once the death pass, uh, once the death occurs and he passes away. A hidden inheritance is going to come to light once um, 
he passes away and um and once he passes away a hidden inheritance i heard so whether it's your karmic um earth sign father about to pass away or your ex-wife's karmic ex uh karmic father about to pass away some kind of hidden inheritance is about to come to light I think, I heard hidden inheritance, so I don't think he's told you if it's your karmic father about to pass away, or your ex-wife, if it's your ex-wife's karmic father about to pass away. I don't think he's told you about the hidden inheritance or your ex-wife, if you resonate in either category. Um, however that resonates and applies, but it, I heard the hidden inheritance is going to come to light once he passes away. He's a very ill Taurus Capricorn Virgo karmic father either to you or your ex-wife, if that resonates and applies. Cain, pay attention to your health. Baby number five, significant. Baby number three, significant. Baby number five, significant. Baby number three, significant. So you plug it in how it resonates, Gemini. I feel you could be pregnant with baby number five or baby number three. Or you could have impregnated somebody and they're pregnant with baby number five or baby number three. Or you could be connected to somebody that's pregnant with baby number five or baby number three. I heard baby number five and baby number three. I've been pulling in very heavy pregnancy energy in all these readings in, that I've done this round. Very heavy. And this one, I heard baby number five, baby number three. So I feel maybe one of you female Geminis, you're pregnant with baby number five or baby number three. Or you're a masculine Gemini that's impregnated somebody and they're pregnant with baby number five or three. Or you're connected to somebody and they're pregnant with baby number five or three. How that resonates and applies. So I feel prenatal care here. Pay attention to your health. Prenatal care, prenatal vitamins, checkups, well, uh, not necessarily well checks, but prenatal care. Very strong here with pregnancy energy, whether you are pregnant or somebody you're connected to pregnant or you impregnated. A Gemini is about to find out about a new diagnosis. Unexpected, uh, unexpected signs and symptoms are about to occur out of the blue. You're about to go to, a do uh, to the doctor for a checkup. You're about to learn of a new medical condition. You had no clue you had. Oh my, so you plug in how it resonates. I am so sorry for her that's for. So pay attention to your health in this aspect is a new medical condition that you had no clue you had, basically. Um, there's it sounds like some kind of signs and symptoms are about to start popping up on you and you're about to start wondering what the, why the crap you're getting them, I'm presuming. Um, and it's going to cause forward movement in your life with all these unexpected signs and symptoms. Um, and I heard you're going to go to the doctor uh, it sounds like for a well check to figure out what's going on. I'm presuming maybe run workups, labs, or um, tests, or what have you, what have you. Whatever they need to do, and whatever the signs and symptoms are. I didn't hear specifically what the signs and symptoms are. Um, but it sounds like once you go and you tell them what your signs and symptoms are and they do the workup on you, whatever they need to do, you're going to learn you have a new um, diagnosis. Um, some kind of new medical diagnosis, if that resonates and applies, okay? One is Gillian Barre. One is multiple scler sclerosis. 
One is psoriasis. Oh, man, those are huge-ass symptoms. I mean, those are huge-ass conditions. Holy shit a moly. Oh, well, I mean, the psoriasis isn't so bad, but damn. Okay, I heard multi one of you guys is multiple sclerosis, so MS. One is Gillian Barre. That those both of those are serious ass medical conditions. Serious. So for one of you guys, you're about to learn you have multiple sclerosis. One you're about to learn you have Gillian Barre. Those are both very serious. And one you're about to learn you have psoriasis. So skin skin disorder. Um. So for another i mean whoever else it might be something else but at least three of you guys you're about to learn you have multiple sclerosis gillian beret or psoriasis for everybody else it might be something else you plug it in how it resonates but pay attention to your health some kind of new exacerbation of signs and symptoms is going to cause forward movement to the doctor to a well check etc 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 I heard multiple multiple sclerosis gillian beret and psoriasis so you plug it in how it resonates oh man Wheel, indecisiveness, allowing your life to rainbow aimlessly. Grades are stagnating. Some, they're your grades. Some, they are a child's grades. Action needs to be taken. Oh, man. Grades are stagnating. So, some kind of grades are stagnating, so they're not getting better. Uh, whether it's your, your grades. So, for some, I feel you're in school. Um, for some, it's your child's grades. So, uh, whoever your child is, whether they're college age, school age, etc., etc., etc. But somebody's grades are stagnating, so they're not getting better. It sounds like they're just staying the same, or in some cases might be declining. I didn't hear they were declining or stagnating, but that's not good. They're not, um, I'm presuming. Um, I heard action needs, action needs to be uh, taken. So I don't think the grades are good. I'll just tell you that. Whether they're your grades, or your child's grades. And I feel it could be an adult child or a minor child. You plug in how it resonates. So action is needed to up your your grades or your child's grades. Maybe tutoring. Maybe extra um, classes. Maybe, um, uh, I'm thinking tutoring. Extra educational classes. Extra, uh, uh, maybe mentoring. Um etc 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 those are just examples and advice of course you can take it or leave it maybe extra um, instructional time from the instructor if you feel you might need it and they are able to provide it for you however that resonates and applies but her action is needed however that resonates and applies wishbone a wish is granted A child is about to start really getting active, very, very, very active, wanting to work on their body. In a very positive way. It's going to motivate you. Wow, that's beautiful. So you plug in how it resonates. Okay, so a child. So. I feel this could be your child or somebody you're connected to child. I feel it could be an adult child or a minor child. You plug in how it resonates, but they're either a child to you or somebody you're connected to, Gemini. But I, I heard a child is about to start getting motivated to work on their body. I heard, but once they start getting very motivated to work on their body, I heard it's going to motivate you. So maybe you're going to start working on your body too, or they just bring such positive energy. I think it's going to help you motivate you to work on your body is what I'm presuming. Um, the child's motivation to want to work on their body. I feel for some of you guys, it could be your child or a grandchild of yours or just a child you know. 
but somehow you're positively connected to this child, how that resonates and applies to Gemini, and um, their motivation to want to work on their body, whether they are an adult energy or minor, 17 or below, is about to motivate you in a positive way. So, a wish is granted, um, I think is them about to start really making positive efforts and changes towards their body. And I feel for some, it's going to help you, motivate you to make positive changes towards your body. Now, whether that's, I heard they're going to start working out. So you, that could motivate you to work out or you to eat better or maybe both. However, that resonates and applies. But that's always a good thing. And it's going to create movement in the collective, in the energetic space for the child working out and for you possibly eating better, working out with them possibly, or what have you, what have you. However you choose to handle that, but um, lots of positive energy from the child, whether it's your child or somebody you're connected to's child. You are definitely very positively connected to that child if that resonates and applies for you, Gemini. That's really wonderful. An Aquarius wants you to keep a secret of theirs, but you're about not to. It does not benefit you. You're about to do what's best for you, and you are right. It is what's best for you and the situation. You're about to reveal the secret, and it's going to create many series of chain events positively for you and a particular feminine energy and many others. Okay, Gemini. Okay, some kind of Aquarius energy. It can be masculine, feminine, Aquarius. They can have Aquarius in any aspects of their charts. Um, I heard Aquari an Aquarius wants you to keep a secret. And it sounds like a dark, dang, dirty secret. Um, I don't believe in those, and that's just true. But um, some Aquarius wants you to keep some kind of dark, dang, dirty secret. But I heard it does not benefit you or a particular other feminine energy or many others. And I heard you're, you're going to basically not keep the secret. And you're about to speak on it, and um, it's going to benefit you, the femme energy, and many others when you speak on the secret, whatever the hell the secret is. But this Aquarius really wants you to keep it in, like dark, dank, dirty little secret shit. But you, it sounds like you're about to stand up to this Aquarius and reveal it. About to reveal it in a huge way. About to reveal it in a huge way. It's about to cause quick movement. Okay, about to reveal it in a huge way, and it's about to cause quick movement. So quick movement in the collective. Sounds like you're going to stand up to this Aquarius, and you're about to reveal it. Because I heard it's going to benefit you, and I heard you're highly intuitive, and it does benefit you. It benefits you to reveal it. It benefits another femme energy to reveal it, and it benefits many others to reveal it. So you're about to stand up to this Aquarius, reveal the secret, and it's about to make the move, will move forward forward movement in a positive way the will to turn and movement to be had and i heard it's going to start moving quick so very fast forward movement i feel for some it could have been declining your health holding in this dirt dark day dirty ass secret or them wanting you to um and um i feel for some your health might get better your health will definitely improve Mental health, for sure. Okay, I heard your mental health will definitely improve. So your mental health will definitely improve, revealing this dark, dank, dirty-ass secret, whatever the hell it is. Um, whoever you are, Gemini, okay? A wish is granted. Your mental health about to improve. Nobody should ever have anybody holding in dark, dank, dirty little secrets, if anybody needs to hear that. That's never positive in the universe. It just never is. And that's the truth. That leads to um, blackmail and abuse and um, all kinds of nasty things. And that's just the truth. Uh, but I heard you're about to reveal it. I feel your light side energy. If that resonates for you, you treat people honestly, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrity, and values. I heard it does not benefit you. It does not benefit another feminine energy. And it doesn't benefit a bunch of people. So technically the situation. So you're about to reveal it. Kudos to you, Gemini, if that res resonates for you. Just saying. Movement.
Working out is about to become very significant. Your life and a child's life. We've got a lot of working out in here. Holy crap. Okay, working out is about to become very significant. Your life and a child's life. We already got that earlier in here. So that's double confirmation. So working out. For some, you're about to start working out, or you already are working out, how that resonates and applies. For one, a child is really about to start getting very motivated to work out. Um, so movement, I think feel physical athletics here, um, maybe weight training, weight lifting, or it could be walking, running, jogging, toning, however that resonates and applies. But a lot of working out in here, whether it's you already working out or about to start working out or a child about to start getting very motivated to work out. I feel like it could be, you know, muscle toning, cardio, weight lifting, or what have you, what have you, however that resonates and applies. But physical movement of the body here. A Gemini is about to find out a Libra feminine is very ill. It's about to really change their perspective on this Libra fam. Low, low vibrational Libra feminine. Okay, so you plug in how it resonates. For one, it's a Pisces fam. Very ill. Okay, so... For one of you guys, you're about to find out a Libra Feminine, Low Vibrational Libra Fem is very ill. Low Vibrational uh, Pisces Fem. Okay. So one of you guys, you're about to find out a Low Vibrational Libra Fem is very ill. It's about to make change your perspective on the Low Vibrational Libra Fem. For one, you're about to find out a Low Vibrational Pisces Fem is very ill. It's about to change your perspective on the Low Vibrational Pisces Fem. So... You have to plug in the low vibrational Libra fam or Pisces fam, however they resonate and apply in your life, whoever they are to you and how they resonate. But I heard low vibrational Libra fam and Pisces fam about to find out they're very ill. So I feel in this aspect, I feel the movement is the um, is the movement of the sickness in these low vibrational people. But there's a reason they're ill. I heard they're low vibrational. I think it's um, negative karma that's cycled around for their ass. It's probably lifestyle choices they have made in the past that have boomeranged back upon them. And now they're having to pay reap karma for what they have done in the past is what I'm feeling. But you plug in and how it resonates. But whoever you are, Gemini, I feel you can be light side or dark side. But I feel for the majority of you guys, you're light side over here about to learn about these low vibrational people that are ill. Um, it's about to change your perspective change when you find out they're uh, of them, when you find out they're, they're ill. How that resonates and applies. Pay attention to your health, the illness of these people, whether it's a low vibrational Libra fem or Pisces fem. An FBI agent. A light side FBI agent is about to become very significant in Gemini's life. <clears throat> in a positive way. About to reveal so much information. So much information. A light side FBI agent is about to become very significant in a, um, a Gemini's life. You're about to reveal so much information. So if this resonates with you, you're about to reveal a lot of information to the FBI. Um, but it sounds like you're about to deal with either one light side FBI agent or two or two plus. I heard agent, but for some, maybe you, you end up dealing with two or two plus, but, um, light side FBI agent, whoever they are and how they apply. Um, they, I feel they give me any sign. I didn't hear a sign on the light side FBI agent, but it sounds like you're about to contact them or they're about to contact you. But somehow, at least one of you guys is about to come into contact and movement, energetic exchange, 
with the uh, light side FBI agent, and you know we have good and bad in all professions. And this aspect, this FBI agent is on the light side, so I don't think they mess around. I don't think they deal in dirty, tracy behind the scenes, dark, dank dealings. Um, they de definitely do not mess around. They definitely do not mess around, and they will not be uh, blackmailed or tempted with sex. Know this. Okay, I heard they definitely do not mess around and they will not be blackmailed or tempted with sex. Know this. So, maybe, I uh, feel maybe there's an FBI agent out there that's been, um, that was blackmailed and swayed with some sex magic or some shit. Um, there's a reason I pulled that in, so just saying, just saying. But this person doesn't mess around. This light side FBI agent doesn't mess around. They can be masked or them, FBI agent. Sounds like you're about to come into energetic contact with them. Um, whether it's 3D face to face, email, phone call, um, text, or whatever, whatever. Okay. Uh, but you're about to you know some very important information, Gemini, and you're about to reveal it to the um, FBI. But it sounds like you're about to get a light side agent and not a dark, dank, secret keeper, black male, dirty, shisty ass agent. All right. I love you guys so much. I hope this helped. And namaste.